Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's meditation. Please sit comfortably and close your eyes, allowing your body to settle in to wherever you're sitting. And having the intention of being fully present, let's begin with a few deep, refreshing breaths, breathing into your stomach, feeling your stomach expand. Inhale for four seconds. Hold. And exhale for four seconds. And let's do that again, if you like. Take your breath just a little deeper. Inhale for four seconds. Hold. And exhale for four seconds. And once more. Inhale for four seconds. Hold. And exhale for four seconds. And now just breathe effortlessly without forcing your breath. Simply observing your breath as it naturally flows in and naturally flows out. Today, let's focus on expanding hope through poetry. Through hope, we can see the unlimited potential that exists in every moment. And remember, when hearing poetry, there's nothing that is supposed to happen. Simply allow the words to flow within you, however they like. And if you become distracted by thoughts or noises or sensations, that's totally normal. Simply notice the distraction and gently bring your awareness back to the poetry. Choices by Wanson Dizon. Today I choose to be honest with myself. Today I choose to accept my sadness as a part of my body because it is one of my primary emotions that makes me who I am. Today I choose to love my way into my journey to my own enlightenment. Today I choose to hope. I choose to dream. I choose to believe in the magic of my becoming. Today I choose to be enough for the person I will be tomorrow.
Next is a well-known poem by William Ernest Henley, written in 1875. Out of the night that covers me, black as the pit from pole to pole. I thank whatever gods may be for my unconquerable soul. In the fell clutch of circumstance, I have not winced nor cried aloud. Under the bludgeonings of chance, my head is bloody, but unbowed. Beyond this place of wrath and tears looms but the horror of the shade. And yet the menace of the years finds and shall find me unafraid. It matters not how straight the gate, how charged with punishments the scroll. I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul. And lastly, a short poem by Emily Dickinson, first published in 1891. Hope is the thing with feathers that perches in the soul and sings the tune without the words and never stops at all. Become aware of that thing with feathers within you, the hope that lies within each of us, the place of unlimited possibilities and infinite creativity. Hope is the expanded awareness that allows us to transform any situation. We all have the capacity to feel hope, to think positively in challenging or difficult times. Resting quietly for a moment, become aware that hope is an intrinsic part of who you are, that we all have the gift of an unconquerable soul And all we need to do is listen.
basking in the refreshing energy of hope. Let's introduce four intentions. These intentions will help invite a fulfilling and wonderful day and weekend and a wonderful life. As I pronounce each intention, silently repeat the intention once or twice, simply observing the words as you release them into the universe. Joyful, energetic body. Joyful, energetic body. Loving, compassionate heart. Loving, compassionate heart. Reflective, alert mind. Reflective, alert mind. Lightness of being, lightness of being. Christopher Reeve, who had every reason to give in to despair, once said, once you choose hope, anything is possible. Once you choose hope, anything is possible. So today and this weekend, have the intention to choose hope and to become aware of the infinite possibilities that will follow. And now if you like, feel free to unmute your line and bring your palms together in front of your heart center. As we chant, the Sanskrit word for being, Om. And when you're ready, gently and gracefully open your eyes as we greet each other with Namaste. Om. 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 Namaste. 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 Thank you, Brian. Thank you. Have a wonderful weekend. Thank you.